The Air Edmonton International Airport, after safety and security, our job is to create jobs, drive economic prosperity in a sustainable way. That includes financially sustainable, obviously environmentally sustainable, and socially sustainable. So we utilize the Airport City Sustainability Campus as, a, as an ecosystem, a platform, to allow and incubate technologies. And you see the Edmonton region come together, Canada's first hydrogen hub. And it's really about leading, leading the energy transformation. And that's happening in this region already. So the airport can create that unique ecosystem for demand. A lot of announcements you saw today in the past, over the past weeks, have been in supply. But in order to actually use it, we need to put it in consumer-facing and consumer-adopted technologies, like Toyota Mirai cars, like Latenda buses, and many other things, including avi in the future aviation and airplanes. So hydrogen will be one of the key elements, and I literally mean that, to help us decarbonize our environment and provide energy and provide clean energy. And so the Toyota Mirai you see upstairs, and they really, we were really appreciative of Toyota for putting it in our airport colors with the bird of beautiful blue, um, that car you'll see operating in a car rental fleet with Enterprise. You see that car operating within their taxi fleet. You'll see that operating, car operating for the airport itself when we help customers to find vehicles and system around driving around the airport. You will see hydrogen blending vehicles in armored cars, in semi-trucks, within the airport fleet vehicles. So they have vehicles that go airside that service you, whether it be a tug or a, or a ground hauling piece of equipment or a catering truck. You'll start to see the adoption of this technology. And over time, the conversions of entire fleets to hydrogen. In addition to that, you'll see hydrogen fueling stations because it's great to have you know, all the vehicles, but you need to be able to fuel them some way. You also see us begin to blend hydrogen into our cogeneration facilities. We produce power today using natural gas. We'll start to blend cogeneration, uh, sorry, hydrogen into the natural gas, and eventually those will become hydrogen cogeneration units as well. So many different parts that you'll be able to see. The cogeneration most people won't see, but they'll enjoy the benefit of the warmth in the wintertime, and the cooling in the summertime, and the, the lights that are turned on from it. But the other ones will actually be public facing and be very visible. And one of the things about hydrogen is how do you, when any new technology comes in, how do you deploy enough fueling stations? How do you deploy enough uh, of the ecosystem to make it feasible? And the great thing about an airport is it's a contained ecosystem. So all the vehicles that, run out, that drive around on the air side are on the air side. They don't drive from Edmonton to Calgary. They don't drive from Edmonton to Fort Murray. They're on the air side. Car rentals, when they come into the region, a lot of them stay very localized. Taxis drive back and forth from the airport to the city. So you have enough demand to prove it, to show it, to have public and consumer adoption of it. And I don't know how many of you have been in a hydrogen vehicle. I have. It is unbelievable. It really is. And it's not that it's unbelievable. The future is really now. Go to California. These vehicles are all over the streets. It's not novel. And so it's really having that adopted within Canada and the globe is going this way. It, countries are racing towards hydrogen. You're seeing it in Japan. Obviously a lot of the partnerships today were Japanese companies. You're seeing it in Korea, Germany, Norway, Sweden, Australia, Qatar, United Emirates, Saudi Arabia, Chile, United States. This is not a new thing. It's, it's really a, an older technology. Now's the time, right time with the ecosystem to actually develop it.